All right, guys, how's it going? It has been a phenomenally long time. It's actually been probably close to a month and a half now since I made my last video. So here I am, back with some SGM, and uh, I will get into all of the information you're probably asking right now. Uh, but first, we're going to head over to Pripyat and do some monolith missions now, I believe. It's been such a long time that I can't even really remember where we are. Uh, so just let me look over my map here. I can't remember how you check your achievements. I just want to make sure I have the mark by the zone achievement. I'm pretty sure I do, but uh, you know, I just want to be sure. Okay, so yeah, that's where we want to go, the uh, monolith headquarters over here. So, uh, let's go talk to... Jeez, uh, I can't hey, even remember bro. this guy's name. Pilot or... It's Gary that I want to talk to. Pripyat. Deal. <sighs> okay, so... <laughs> Why did it take so long for me to get back to making videos? Um, well, here's the story. Uh, as most of you probably know by now, I was moving all of my stuff to a new apartment. And uh, that took considerably more time than I anticipated. I was stuck in IKEA furniture hell for like probably close to a week. But that's not actually what caused most of the delay here. Uh, I actually got sick not once but twice. The first time I got a bad flu, like, probably the the sickest I've ever been. Uh, that lasted about five days, and then the second time, like, probably three or four days after that, I got sick again with a bad cold, so, uh, everything ended up getting screwed up, and things took a lot longer than they should have, and that is partly my fault, but, you know. Uh, to whoever's still stuck by this channel up until now, thank you for uh, waiting patiently and uh, more stalker content to come. So, here we go. I don't really know why I'm looking at my stash box here. I don't think I have anything that I want. No. I'm good. I do need to eat something, though. So, of course I don't have any food. Um, okay, that's not a good situation. I have no food on me here. Uh, can I buy food off someone? Oh, what's this? Ah, there's some food on the shelf here. Sweet. Nope, I don't want to sleep. Nope. Game, come on. Cut it out. No. Game. Okay, jeez. Uh, and I can get the energy drink, but I just cannot get this food for the life of me here. Oh, come on. What's the point in putting these here if I can't actually get to them? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I just want the bread. Come on, please. Just give me the bread. I'm begging you, game. Just give me the freaking bread. Okay, I'm, I'm obviously not going to get the bread unless I just... Yeah, I got the bread, I think. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Let us sleep until 8 o'clock in the morning. That sounds about right. So, yeah, I... Man, it's been such a long time since I played Stalker. I have not been doing a whole lot of gaming recently. Alright, Tourist Delight. That actually helped considerably there. These guys are not going to shut up until I leave. So, uh, my loadout right now is just the Fraser Breakwater combo that I've been using most of the game here. Most of the late game, at least. And turn my flashlight off because I know that bugs some of you. And turn my volume down. So anyway, uh, I'm sorry if this sounds a bit worse than it usually does. I'm in a quite an echoey room here, and I've tried to set my audio gain down considerably and move the mic closer to me to alleviate some of the uh, echo. I don't know how well it's going to work, though. Uh, it sounded somewhat okay when I played it back, but uh, we'll see. If there's any sort of inconsistencies or problems with the recording itself, then just let me know and I'll see if it's something I can indeed fix. I'm running on what is essentially a totally new setup here. Oh god. So many rats. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. So yeah, I got some new monitors, uh, totally new recording setup, so let me know how this turns out. I hope the audio doesn't sound horrible. It was a lot better in the room I was in before. Uh, but, you know, if it's okay, it's okay. I'm not going to complain about it. We will see how it turns out. And uh, anything else that I want to bring up here? Not really. I mean, I don't want to really get into 
you know, how I got sick or blah blah blah. I don't think most of you really care about that, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. Uh, I know I sort of said I would be doing a setup video. Still not sure when I'm going to be able to do that. I don't really... Oh god, so many rats. Stop it, game, please. I hate these guys. Kushkano, rats, whatever. Oh god, come on. Ow! Little bastard, okay. They are dead, and I am alive. I am king of the zone for killing rats. Where am I going? I am sort of almost going in the wrong direction here. We're going straight up the map. Back to my old fumbling ways. Hopefully we don't run into any more resistance. But, uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say other than... Uh, welcome back, I guess. Oh! No, it's happening already. The mines, wait, they will never stop. <sighs> okay, sorry if my keyboard's a bit loud, too. Again, this is a totally new recording setup. Things are going to be problematic at the very beginning here. Just let me take a drink of water. Oh, that's good. Okay. So, good thing I saved uh, right before I ran into that damn mine. Hopefully I can blow it up this time. Yeah, there it is. You son of a bitch. And boom. Okay. Problem solved. No more mines. Oh, SGM, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, SGM? Okay, so apparently I'm just gonna get blown up repeatedly here. Uh, yeah, this is, um, back into the swing of things, I guess. Getting blown up is my, you know, number one hobby in this game, apparently. Okay, this time I am not gonna walk over the explosion patch. Apparently the mines can sometimes just you know, blow up but not blow up. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Oh, that's just the anomaly over there. Thought there were some enemies, saw some movement. So yeah, I got a bigger screen here. I'm running a two 27-inch monitors. I got them during this, uh, you know, Black Friday week sale or something at a local computer place. They're pretty awesome, actually. And again, I might show you those in a setup video, but I don't really have a means of recording something like that right now. Come on, rat. Don't do me like that. Alright. They are dead. I'm getting irradiated, but not significantly so. Anomalies everywhere. I'm getting used to this again. It's not so bad. Okay, maybe it is so bad. Anomalies everywhere. I'm gonna save it again just in case. <laughs> oh man, the zone. Need to get back into the swing of things here, even though I've probably said that like 15 times by now. Okay, uh, the Monolith headquarters are in the Prometheus movie theater, I think. Are they not? Yeah, they're right up here. So, what am I gonna do for them? I kinda have no idea what their missions are like. Uh, I've heard sort of secondhand information off of one of my friends who has beaten this mod in its entirety. Personally though, I don't really know what to expect. We'll see, I guess. Might want to keep my gun out as- <laughs> my voice just cracks there. <clears throat> Might want to keep my gun out just in case there's some hostile dicks here. Like there were last time. Not really... I thought I killed them, but I can't remember if I visited this location on this save. I have no idea, honestly. Um. Okay. Good luck with that, pal. Mr. Military Dude. Okay, you. Uh. Can I just go past now, or. Is this the guy I'm supposed to be talking to? What the hell's he doing? Um, stop, come on, dude, stop, stop walking, what are you doing? Talk to me here. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, I gotta wait until this guy stops walking, I don't want him pushing me into an anomaly or something. Well then, this is an interesting glitch. I don't know what the hell he is 
doing here? Oh god, this is where the enemies were, isn't it? Don't kill me, please. Okay, apparently they are dead. I must have killed them on the save somehow. Oh god. Now he's gonna calmly walk back to his position, isn't he? Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Uh, I'll, I'll cut this out until he's back in his rightful position. See you guys then. And we are back. Apparently this guy has some issues walking upstairs. He's not very good at it, apparently. So, Cyborg, uh, what can we do for you? What have you, what have you brought here? Speak up, the monolith hears us. I would like to join you, brothers. The monolith told us about you, marked by the zone. And you are interesting to it. It has prepared a test for you. Get yourself cleansed in front of the monolith and serve it faithfully. I'm ready to meet the test. What should I do? Kasilov, military who killed many of our brothers, disgraced the honor of the monolith, mocking at the dead brothers during the seizure of our weapon warehouses. He has badly weakened and insulted us, so he must die. Where can I find the infidel? Their base is located in the former laundromat. Look for him there. I will fulfill the will of the monolith. Oh god, I don't feel good doing this, but uh, whatever. You guys kind of wanted to see the monolith missions, so I will do them. I don't want to steal stuff from that cache because he's going to get pissed off, but... What's in here? Is it worth it? No, it's, it's not worth it. I'm just going to get shot in the face by him. Okay, so apparently... Oh, that was a quite a visual glitch there. Apparently we gotta go to the laundromat and kill up some military dudes. Which, uh, if this were Shadow Chernobyl, I would have no problem with, but, uh... Here, you know, they're not bad guys. The military. They're pretty friendly to us. We are actually military ourselves in this game, so, you know. There's that. Okay, so let's see. Challenge mode stalking here. Let's see if I can actually get back to the laundromat without using the map. It'll be a miracle if I can do so, but, uh, you know, we'll see. See what happens. Thought those were mutants. Apparently I'm just blind or seeing things. Okay, I hear some anomalies. Just being careful. We got the school here. Gee, this place is familiar from the way to Pripyat. I had a nightmare here first time around. They're like a half dozen uh, military guys like right in this courtyard and then there were probably about 30 or 40 extra. Just gonna cut through here as a sort of shortcut if you don't mind. This place always makes me uneasy for some reason. I don't know what it is, it's just creepy as hell. Okay, turn my light off. I'm gonna try and be a bit better about that. I don't know what it is but I can just see things a bit better on this monitor. Not that, you know, me seeing things was a problem on my old monitor, but... I don't know why, I just... I I guess whenever I played by myself, I just left the light on so I could see the ground, but... It seems like the ground illumination is a, a bit better in this monitor, or on this monitor. I don't know what it is, I'm not gonna try and justify my bad habits. Oh, bloodsucker time. Come at me. I'm actually going to save it here. Of course, hitting the, the lean keys. Oh. That is a zombie. Not a bloodsucker. There's more zombies up here. There we go. Just tap firing this uh, MP5 here. Come on, this bloodsucker's got to be close. Oh, there he is. Ooh. That was a close call there, and we got his jaw too, so... Good stuff. Did these zombies have anything useful on them? I got a bit of ammo here. Might as well take it. Don't really feel like unloading stuff, so let's just get back to the laundromat. Now that I've gotten myself... Almost certainly lost. Okay. This is a familiar site over here. The uh, the gas station or whatever that is. So let's go over here. I really gotta familiarize myself with this map. I get lost way too easy here. 
I thought I heard a bloodsucker in the background there. Okay, I think the laundromat is right around the corner here. Let's see if I'm correct. Because this gas station, when you turn uh, right coming out of the... Or no, when you turn... Yeah, when you turn right coming out of the laundromat, uh, you run into that gas station area. This is the laundromat over here. Cool. Looks like I'm not uh, functionally useless at this game. Or at least navigating in this game. Okay, dirty work. Kill Colonel Kasilov. I have a feeling this isn't going to be quite as easy as I'm hoping. Okay. Trust me, I'm not coming here to kill anyone. I seriously am not. Oh, is he upstairs? Might have to check my map here. I thought he was talking about this guy, because this is the dude with the, uh... Yeah, that's Phoenix. This is the dude with the monolith mission where you... Okay. Oh, we got a blowout going on, too. Oh, okay. Here's the, the map marker. It's over here, so it's probably outside. I might just want to sleep an hour until this blowout gets the hell gone. Uh, let's sleep until 12 then. Take a drink here. Okay, that's a lot less painless than uh, waiting through the entire mission. Alright, so it looks like this guy is outside. Possibly around back. We'll see. I don't think this uh, will impact our relationship with these military guys. I think this is probably going to be a separate faction. Okay, let's just scout this out a little bit before I go ahead. Alright, there he is. All of his dudes are over here, and they're friendly. So we can go and scout this out a little bit more up close. So is it just you two? So there's a guard, and then there's the actual colonel over there. So you know what I might end up doing? I don't know how many F1s I have. I think I only have... yeah, I only have one. Uh, that's not great. Okay, let's save it here. Toss this F1. I might want to stand around this corner. We'll try to toss it over the fence. See if that works. It indeed did work. Okay, sweet. And it looks like nobody else got angry at us, so... Cool. Uh, this guy had an Eliminator I'm not super interested in. I will take the shotgun shells, though. Those are quite useful sometimes. Not exactly rare by any means, but... You know, might as well pick him up. Now, did this guy honestly fly all the way over here? Oh, he's not even dead. This is this is a problem. Did I blow up his gun or something? Jesus. Oh, of course, of course. I had to just go over to that marker. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Oh, that was so stupid. I should have known that that guy was gonna blow up. <sighs> okay. So, I think I missed with that first grenade. We're gonna try plopping one down right in the entrance, because it looks like he just ran out as soon as the grenade hit the floor. Uh, we'll try to bounce this off of that guy's stupid face. And yeah, there we go. Now he's gonna come out. Ouch. Oh, um, your face is not under attack. Frig off, Kowalski. No grenades. No grenades. I'm not in the mood. That guy's running around like a chicken with his head cut off now. Chill out, dude. Okay, where is this? I think the breakwater might be a better idea for this. Oh, would you stop running? This is really friggin' annoying. Oh my god. Are, am I seriously going to have to chase this guy all the way across this map? Oh, come on. You can't be serious. Where is he? Where did he go? 
Oh my god, come on. This is absurd. I don't even know how I'm gonna... Look at him! Okay, so he's hunkered down in the apartment complex. Either that or he's stuck. Which is probably more likely, to be honest. So let's go kill him here. Hopefully. Possibly. Doubtfully. He's probably just gonna run away as soon as we get here. Is he still here? Nope! Well, isn't this just wonderful? Oh, what a little bitch running away like this. God. Let's just wait for him to loop back around to us. If Oh, of course not. He's going to run all the way around this map. Catch and kill Kasilov. I failed to kill Kasilov. Or wait, I failed to kill Kasilov quietly. He fled. I have to catch up with him and kill him. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, game? This is going to be really annoying. Okay, let's just run through this apartment complex. Very recklessly here. I could run into an anomaly at any second. I don't care, though. I'm a man on a mission. And nothing's going to get in my way. Okay, where is he? Oh, God. This is really going to take me all around the map, isn't it? It's just going to be a like hopscotch of mines. Okay, he's over here. Probably long gone by now, but... Ouch! Okay, I gotta use a med kit here. I'm gonna die. Let me equip... Do we even have... I only have these used elite ones. Or these army ones. That kind of blows, but... Whatever. I'll make do with it, I guess. <sighs> okay, he's over by the bookstore now. I did not want to hit that button. Okay, we'll, we'll use the Frasier here. The DPS on this thing is just insane. Okay, here he is. I am going to quick save it over here and hunker down behind the bus. Maybe not. I can't get a good line of sight on him. Where did he go? He's right in front of us here. There he is. I might want to just take this slow here, honestly. I don't have any more F1s. Which might be a problem, because I'm assuming this is going to be like a boss character. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I thought he was going to have as much health as like the uh, faction commanders. As this would have been considerably harder if that were the case. VSS Vinteres, and what is this? Fort 12 M3. Uh, I could not be less interested in that. Castle of PDA. We'll take that, though. And yet, we gotta go back to, uh, what was his face? Um, can't even remember his name. Anyway, the, the monolith commander. We gotta go all the way back there. Something was actually seeing me here. Might wanna just quick save it. Might wanna just quick save it. The story of my stalking career. Um, okay, where are we going? I'm kinda lost. We are going straight up this main street here, I believe. Relatively, I guess. Let's just go up this way. I'll figure it out when I get there, I guess. There's something around here. It's showing up on my PDA. Oh, never mind. Maybe there was someone still alive in the bookstore. Who knows. There could still be monolith guys in there. I'm surprised I haven't ran into another mine, but I'm pretty sure I've probably walked over most of them in this game so far. I don't know how many more there could possibly be littered around in this map. I'm actually pretty confident I've hit all of them in Satan. Probably most of them in Yanov, or Jupiter, whatever. I don't know. Seriously, I am, like, attracted to mines. Just drawn to them magnetically or something. Okay, can we just cut through the school here? I'm gonna say yes we can, or this is the kindergarten, never mind. Once again, showing my uh, clear lack of knowledge with this Pripyat map here. I just, I've never really spent a lot of time in this map. Usually I'd say like 80 or 90% of my time spent playing this game has been in Jupiter or 
um, Zatan. I just don't do much here. Okay, should probably be using the Fraser for this. That's what it's for after all, it's like a shotgun, it just sprays bullets so fast and wildly. Oh, so many rats. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy. The Monolith guy should be straight up from here. I'm finally getting some of these landmarks down, like the uh, Ubilani Service Center and uh, the... I don't remember what the other one's called, but there's another building like right up there that has the beer in it in vanilla. I think. Oh god. Okay. Saw that guy out of the corner of my eye there. There are definitely zombies in that building that I am not at all interested in fighting. I'd rather just head on over to the Monolith guys and do some more missions for them. Uh, another thing I should mention is this is probably going to be a much longer video. Like I mentioned in my last update, uh, I think I'm going to be trying to move on to like a less constant daily uploads and more just uh, longer videos for you guys. Oh joy, don't I just love walking on mines. That's, that's like the sole purpose of mines in this mod, it's just to ruin my train of thought. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be experimenting with a much... A, a much... I killed this guy, didn't I? Please tell me I killed him. Did I kill him? Uh, yes I did. Okay, so now it's just a matter of running all the way back up there. Which... To be honest, I think I'm just going to cut this out, so I will see you when we get to the Monolith base. Alright, so here we are at the um, Prometheus movie theater. This place is a big movie theater. <laughs> okay, can you seriously get out of the way here, pal? Thank you. Um, anyway, what I was saying before is I'm going to be experimenting with some longer videos. Just uh, let me know how you like these ones. They're probably going to be close to the same length as the Megasodes were, close to an hour probably. Just going to be like rendering an entire... okay. Apparently this is what the guy was pissed off about. Understandably so, I mean, a bunch of rabid dogs running around in my base would piss me off too. Okay, apparently he's just going to beat the shit out of it with his hands. Oh, nice going pal. Really nice going there with the dogs. Was that really so hard? Well, I hate to say it, but you kind of deserve that. Uh, medkit, I will take that. And deagle, do I even want that? No, not really. Okay, so yeah, let me know what you think about the longer videos. Probably not quite as long as the Megasodes, maybe like 45 minutes or so. I'm gonna see if this works out uh, on my end, too. I mean, I, I can't guarantee that things will be uh, kept up this way for any length of time, but, you know, we'll see. <laughs> oh man, I'm still a little bit sick, a bit congested, so my apologies if I sound like uh, Kermit the Frog or something right now. I feel like it. Okay, dude, you can put your gun away. I'm not going to shoot your boss, man. Or maybe I am. Alright, Cyborg, that's his name. So, yes, here is Kasilov's PDA. Jeez, a lot of 762 here. <laughs> oh man, AK-101M combat tactics, that is actually really good. And 5,000 new tracks. Cool. So, uh, thank you. Let the monolith to be with us. Forever, come tomorrow, the monolith will show you the way. Alright, see you later. I do not want to wait until tomorrow. Uh, oh god. Come tomorrow. Well, I guess I gotta sleep. Do I still have my sleeping bag here? Oh, come on. Do I really have to go back to the base? Well, this is annoying. Alright there, Mr. Uh, Vinterez. I'm, I'm just gonna go out your window, okay? See you later. Yep. Alright, so, uh... Did I get the stash here, by the way? I thought there was a stash in one of these go-karts. Or uh, bumper cars, not go-karts. I can't remember. I think that might be actually on the opposite end of this map. Uh, right near 
you know, the, the southern border. Can't remember. There might be something around here, though. Looks like I got spots 12. Don't want. It's not like I feel like killing any of these guys anyway. Unless I want a whole base assault to deal with here. Well, apparently I was wrong about the bumper cars, but oh well. Maybe I'll stop by and see what this trader can offer me. If this is what he indeed is. Metro fan. I would like to trade, buy new equipment to even better protect the monolith from the impious. Alright, what do you have, buddy? Um, Do I want some VOG 25s? You know what, I have the cash for it. Let's just buy one. Uh, a bag of those C4 I'm not interested in. You know, that's kind of all I want. I don't even want this, to be honest. But neither do you, apparently. So, let's just head back to the laundromat. Hopefully they're not still, you know, peeved off about that uh, little incident that happened earlier. You know, I wouldn't expect them to be, but who knows. I just killed one of their guys in plain sight. I mean, it's not like that's anything to get upset about, is it? Maybe I could just go do some uh, loot hunting here. I think there's a couple stashes I may not have gotten up on the, the roof of that dock area. The memorial statue here. Kind of cool. This map is definitely interesting. There just was never much to do here in vanilla. I mean, this was sort of a dead map. I mean, maybe rightfully so, but I would have thought there'd be a bit more to do here than uh, what was included. Okay, so apparently friendlies have moved in here, or either that or I'm just friends with all these monolith guys now, which looks to be the case. Um, Where were these stashes? I think they were up on the roof. Let's go check them out. I may have already gotten these. In fact, it's more than likely that I have, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Just hold down the F key. Um, I know there was one right in the top here. It looks like I've already busted through this, so I don't expect to find anything here. Nope, looks like I've already looted all this. Can we just jump out this window? No. Jump out this window? Come on, just crouch jump. Major. You're being a major pain in the ass right now, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. Just made like a two-story drop there, no problem. My knees are indestructible. Skyrim Horse has nothing on Major Dig. Okay, uh, was there something over... I think there was maybe something by this edge here? I'm thinking of a way to Pripyat stash locations here, though, and those might not be vanilla. No, I don't think there's anything left to loot here. Okay, so what else could I do? Uh, maybe check out the vine. I'm, I'm just thinking I'm going to have to kill time here, because the military guys are still going to be peeved off about that attack earlier. So it looks like I'm going to be shit- Oh, uh, I'm locked. No, 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 no. Okay. We're safe, we're safe. There's some zombies here. I've dealt with worse in the past. Uh, I said there's gonna be some... Oh, hey guy. Mind if I hang out with you? Oh, you do. Okay. Well, sorry for ruining your little zombie party here, but uh, I did what had to be done. Chaser 13 does not interest me. We should have plenty of batteries left. And it looks like there is... No, I said six. Game, I said six. Just trust me on that. Looks like this one might be... down in here. Yep. Right there. Looks like that's one of the special SGM ones. This is Colonel Kowalski. The threat has been eliminated. Uh, well, no it hasn't, but... Uh, great military stuff there, Major. Great planning. You know, uh, if I tell my guys that the threat's been eliminated, they won't have to worry anymore. Her Great idea. Okay. Not that I'm much of a threat to those guys. Just whoever the monolith wants me to kill. I'm essentially just a merc now. Okay, so... Ooh, there's a stash over here. Let's go check that out. In the old service center. 
Actually, that place is a major pain in the ass. I am going to leave that for another time. <laughs> oh, the Electro Anomalies there are just a nightmare to deal with. Okay, apparently we've got more action here. Oh, I love this Frasier. This thing is such an effective weapon against these small rats. Okay, doggy. Come here. Come here. Stop. Okay, apparently I killed one of them just off pure chance there. The sight alignment is a little high uh, on these. I think this is the same as they were in vanilla, so... You know, I'm not complaining. Just aims a little bit high. Oh, god damn it! Not a side dog. Okay, just dodge and weave here. Dodge and weave. There we go. That was a bit of fanfare there. Now let me get back to the laundromat and get this over with. Kind of tired of fighting rats and running around doing quests for the monolith. Gotta sleep the night, uh, and then go back to that monolith guy. Hopefully he'll have something for me once I've waited 24 hours. I don't see why he wouldn't. It's actually kind of nice being able to see my... Uh... Let's see if my theory about the, the Chimera is correct here. It's kind of nice being able to see my recording in Audacity here on my second monitor. It's a luxury I did not have before. Apparently, this was... ooh, SVU. Only something that happened in Misery, but uh, if you recall from my Misery series, every single solitary time I came over here, there was a Chimera ready to attack me. And it happened like six times at least, so it was not just a simple coincidence. Nope, apparently those branches do not have hit detection on them. Or collision meshes, whatever. I, I don't know the technical term for that. Uh, laundromat is right around here. I think I've finally gotten to grips on uh, the location of these landmarks here. It's taken long enough, hasn't it? Let me use a med kit just to get back to full health, and hopefully I can buy some more food too. I'm running a bit low. Uh, I don't really want to go talk to Kowalski. I do, however, want food. Sky off for food? I think it's the medic. And the medic is nowhere to be found. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a pain. Okay, how about you, Sokolov? Do you you don't even trade? Does anyone around here trade? No, not you. Not you. There's gotta be a trader here somewhere. Ah. Uh, my condolences, blah blah blah, don't care. Apparently, I'm just gonna starve here, which, you know, is fine by me, I guess. Not like I wanted to eat anyway. Of course, we have no food in here. Oh well, I probably should have been looting some of those zombies and that for food, but, uh... Hindsight's apparently not that good either, so, I don't know. Let us sleep until... Eh, uh, partway through the day. Eh, uh, maybe noon. Let's do it. Had another emission, and of course my hunger level is critical. Can we go back to the monolith guy now? I certainly hope so. Okay, dude, you've got you've got food right there. Can I have some? Of course I can't. Can I eat these? Apparently I can. Well, there we go. Problem solved. That was easier than I thought. So apparently mutant body parts are invaluable when it comes to satiating you. Alright. Let's move. I swear if this guy is still like come back tomorrow I'm going to be angry. Of course we got more rats and uh, bloodsucker on over here. Oh, typical day. Oh my god that dog just lunged. Jeez. Okay, that was stupidly easy. Wow. This breakwater is insanity. Did I really just like three shot a bloodsucker? 
tables have turned, haven't they? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Used to be scared of you punks. Not anymore. Not when I have the breakwater and this uh, freaking MP5 on me. The Fraser. Yeah, see if I care, dogs. Come at me. Yeah, you guys know what to do. You're running away. Ouch. That actually kind of hurt. Oh god. Okay, this is kind of not good. Oh god, okay. Um, apparently I still am scared of you guys. I didn't mean what I said earlier. I swear I didn't. Okay. Seriously, Bloodsucker, this is not the time. Just screw around with me. Bloodsucker. Oh god, come on, dog. You're not that durable. Ouch! You son of a bitch. That hurts. Okay. Apparently this bloodsucker is just getting ravaged by these dogs. Let's go put him out of his misery. Okay, apparently I'm running out of regular ammo. Oh! Big cartwheel there. 10 out of 10 form on that one. And we are out of ammo for our... Okay, we are very low on ammo. I probably should have realized this sooner. And are we even going in the right direction? Of course, I can't hit P. Uh, yeah, we are. Somehow. Going in the right direction. Please, no more bullshit game. Just want to make my way to this place. Oh, wait, we have plenty of ammo for this thing, actually. We got different ammo types, I think. Don't we? Yeah, okay. I did not even see that. I wasn't even looking ahead of me. God damn it. Okay. Last save. Put my feet up on my speaker here. <clears throat> Man, I hate being congested. Oh, God. Please don't tell me I have to deal with this. Yep, I have to deal with this bloodsucker again, don't I? Yep. Alright, just come to me this time, please. Thanks, I suppose. There we go. It's got some minor bleeding. Nothing a, a little bandage can't take care of. Okay. I'm also playing this in uh, not full screen mode so I can see what's on my other monitor. Normally when you maximize things, you can no longer, your, your other man monitor just blacks out unless you're doing like multi-monitor gaming, which I am not. Okay, apparently that time I totally lost my way. <laughs> That's fine though, everyone makes mistakes. Bird, come on. I want you dead for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna stop wasting. Okay, never mind. I completely wasted the rest of my ammo. For no apparent reason. Some of you are probably upset at me about that, but you know. Can't please everyone. Now, there was a mine somewhere over here. Not, no, not right now, zombie. Not now. I'm, I'm gambling on this here, hoping that it'll net me some ammo. This will only work out if I don't run out of ammo before killing these guys. Okay, that kind of worked out. We got some more 45 here too. Sweet. That's going to be like one second burst from the MP5. Certainly valuable. Let me just go on to the other side. There's still one zombie hanging around here somewhere. Not really... Oh god. Okay. This is... this is bad. As in not good. Okay. We killed him. And my screen is still all sorts of messed up. Oh, there we go. Cool. Not this again. Please. And this zombie is really freaking out here. Man, this has been slightly eventful so far. Alright, this guy just had a Saiga on him, and wow, four ammo. Wonderful. 
That's not even the type I'm looking for. What about this? This is 45, yeah. Okay, shotgun shells and 9mm ammo. Not interested. Not even interested in anything on this guy. Okay, well that kinda sorta worked out, I guess. Oh god, come on. You've gotta be kidding me. You know what? I'm blowing this joint. If this is indeed the right way to go. Uh, it's not. Okay, here we go. I am just gonna get... Oh... Oh no. Oh no. I didn't even save it. That is annoying. That is very, very annoying. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? All the way back here. I gotta remember to save it this time. And I think I'm just gonna run straight there. You know what, I'm not even fighting these guys. You can go blow it up your own ass. I am not interested in confrontation right now. Bloodsucker, I can hear you behind me. This is not going to get you anywhere, I just thought I'd let you know. You are a loser and go kill the zombies, okay? Shoot those guys. Oh my god, you're never going to stop chasing me, are you? When are you going to realize it's futile? I can literally, quite literally, run forever here. Unless that happens. Oh, but you got hurt by it too, so I'm not too upset about that. Okay, here's a service station. Da da da, just running with the bloodsucker on my ass. Oh, okay. And that could ha happen. <laughs> Random dog just gets completely devastated by that anomaly. Oh, uh, I kind of want to avoid these. Oh, apparently this bloodsucker is just terrible at anomaly detection. Okay, guys, mind helping me out with this guy? I'd certainly appreciate it. Well, apparently he got messed up pretty bad by those anomalies back there. And now we got dogs. Hey, seriously, dude. Sh just shoot the dog. Shoot the dog. Come on. Oh no, what have I done? Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck me, please don't let this be the case. I didn't even save it. Jesus Christ, this is annoying. Ugh, I apologize for this. It's not my idea of uh, good stalker play. Oh my god. You are joking. Okay, seriously, Bloodsucker, this time you die. No ifs, ands, or buts. There we go. Give me your jaw, and I'm getting the frig out of here. Okay, this time, hopefully, we can just run straight there without any bullshit along the way. Which is unlikely, since I already know there's dogs up there right next to the movie theater. I always feel anxious when I'm fighting mutants around other NPCs. Because uh, hitting them is sometimes inevitable. Well, I don't want to deal with you either, so frig off. Frig the hell off. Okay, just dodging and weaving between these anomalies. That's the way I like to do it. Not really... I thought these dogs were right up here. Maybe they're further ahead. I don't know, don't care. Oh, <laughs> oh that's unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna kill these dogs ahead of time this time. Okay, cool. Everything's dead. Just the way I like it. Now... Maybe finally we can get another mission from this guy. If all goes according to plan, which is unlikely. Okay, I've, I've looked at those guns like three times so far. And every time I look at them, they're the same gun. 
I guess I'm just hoping they'll change into something amazing. Okay, please tell me you have a freaking mission and are not just gonna jerk me around. Oh my god. You are a dirtbag and I am taking your shit. How does that feel? But it feels great, doesn't it? Okay, well apparently I am an idiot and didn't wait long enough, so I'm... I don't know what to do here. Is there any other mission I could do in the meantime? Uh, let's go get the stash, I guess, down here. Oh, there's a bed down here. God, I didn't even see that before. Oh, that is really annoying. That is supremely annoying. Man, I apologize for that. That is really dumb. I don't know why I didn't even think of that. Is it going to be... Nope. Apparently we can't even get down there. That's a shame. Okay, the bed is going to be in the main area here, I think. How do we even get in here? Do you have to go around? Hell if I know. Seriously, where's the entrance here? Is that it? Who put a staircase going up to a brick wall? That is the most incompetent building design I've ever seen, unless they mortared that up later to prevent something from getting inside. Who knows? Okay, seriously, where is this bed? This is starting to get annoying. How? Okay, that goes nowhere. How did I not see this before? Man, I am just totally stupid today. Well, nice bed, right? I'm sleeping on the piano, apparently. You cannot sleep since you slept less than an hour ago? Oh, come on, game. That's a cheap one. Well, let's go get that stash, then. Uh, might as well waste some time. Hopefully by then we can come back and either get a mission from that guy or sleep another day. I would hope that would do the trick, but who knows. Okay. Uh, I can hear a dog whining here. Let me just use my detector. Alright, just sneak through here. Should be able to pull this off. I think this is the way through. Nope, that is not the way through. That certainly is, though. Okay. Uh, do I really want that anom or artifact? Be stupid not to pick it up. Oh, okay, I'd be stupid to pick it up, apparently. Please tell me I saved sometime soon. Please, don't don't put me all the way back somewhere. Okay, good. Uh, where am I going? Um, I'm going back the other way. I gotta quick save more often. I need to get back into that habit. I hate backtracking. It's probably my biggest annoyance in Stalker. Not the game's fault, though. Simply my fault for A, not quick saving, and B, dying. Oh my god! Please tell me you saw that. Please tell me you saw that. That was amazing. What just happened? A dog just flew out the window. Okay, mind equals blown. That was, that was the highlight of my day. And hopefully yours, too. Okay, let's sneak back around here. Just hug the wall here. Through this way. Do I really want to bother with this? The answer is most certainly. Okay, so the stash looks like it is over this way. It would seem. in the stall? Yes it is. Okay, what do we have? Oh my god. Okay, Moonlight level 3. 
Psi plus three, electric plus eight, one kilo extra maximum weight, health restoration, energy recovery, radiation. You know, it's not actually that good. That's sort of why I haven't been upgrading artifacts. I mean, the... Uh, okay. That really pushed me back for some reason. Uh, the really nice ones I have now, I don't think really need to be any better. I mean, it'd almost be game-breaking if they were. Please tell me I can... Oh, apparently not. Can I bust through it with my MP5 of Doom? Yes, I can. Okay, and... Break that one, too. And let's get out of here. Cool. Now please tell me that was enough time wasting to sleep again. If not, I'm going to be very upset. And I'm gonna shoot this guy in the face. Let us go. I don't know what else I could do if this isn't enough time. I should probably actually go in the right way this time too. I think there's a way to... nope. Turns out I, I was wrong. I, I was wrong. Sorry about that. I was gonna say, I would think there'd be a doorway. Oh, looks like I was not wrong. Okay, oh well. Let's go in this way. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> this is getting comical. Okay, what else can I do? There's gotta be something else that hasn't been done in Pripyat here. Another stash to collect. Or there's just going to be absolutely jack shit. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to like make some coffee or something while I'm waiting in this base and then get back to it in like five minutes. So I'll see you then, radioactive fallout. Alright, so I waited enough time, hopefully, uh, to sleep again and I slept another 24 hours. Let's go see if this guy has a mission for me. Uh, can I eat something here? Pseudo dog tail. Yes, please. Yum yum. Can't imagine something less appealing than a pseudo dog tail to eat. Possibly. I don't know. What's something I really hate eating? Uh, artichoke hearts. I cannot stand those. So yeah, let's let's say that. Okay, ah, here we go. Hello, brother. The monolith expects your obedience. How can I help you? Infidel, the monolith has informed me that you were taking part in the attack on us. You destroyed our antennas, by which we were talking with it. As together with the military, you killed the high-ranking adherent. I admit it. How can I atone for my sins? Oh, God. Okay, carry out the monolith's will and follow the way back by the way specified by it. For the beginning, help our brethren, bring them back to life, and you'll be rewarded by the grace of the monolith. What do I need to do? The military have attacked our warehouses where our antibiotics were stored and have taken them away. Bring ten antibiotics and water of life. Expiate your sin. I can bring the medicine, but where do I find the water of life? Only Leon knew the secret. That is the expiation of sins that you must pass the test of the monolith, rediscover the secret of water of life, and prove that you are worthy to serve it. Okay, uh, well, I will execute the will of the monolith, sins will be expiated. I have no idea what that guy's talking about. I can get antibiotics, but I don't know what the hell this water of life is. I guess I gotta talk to Leon or something? I don't know where the hell Leon is. Let's just zoom out here. Oh, Leon! Hunting for snorks. Uh, go do that later, I guess. Is this where he is? Apparently. Okay, so we gotta go all the way back to Zatan. That means going all the way back and talking with Gary to get back there. Looks like there was not much else to do other. Maybe I should stop uh, by Yanov and just finish up that snork mission. Okay, seriously, how do we get out of here now? Oh, here. Okay, get up the stairs under the stage. And there we go. 
I just knocked a fire. Oh god. Why was there a zombie just sitting on the ground here and nobody cared? Okay, apparently some people were zombified in here. And I am out of ammo. I did not want to pick that up. And I have ammo now. Let me... I might as well keep that. Don't want this. Alright, pressing shift there, expecting it to be the sprint key. And I'm gonna save it right now. Yeah, that guy's been out here the whole time through this radioactive fallout. Maybe that's why these zombies are appearing, is because of the fallout. No idea, though. I guess that would make sense, somewhat. In a very, sort of, sci-fi, apocalypse game sort of way. Um, once again, I'm gonna try and make my way back without using the minimap. What was once an impossibility is now actually somewhat possible. I'm really pushing my luck here by running. Save it again. I don't want to have to deal with this controller that's hanging around here. I'd rather just get back to the base and be done with this area. So I need a 10 antibiotics. That's absurd. I don't even know where I'm gonna... unless you can buy those from the scientists, which could be possible. I think in the vanilla game there was uh, a limit of four antibiotics you could physically acquire. Okay, I'm gonna run away from that little situation there. Not really the kind of thing I want to be involved in. Fighting a bunch of zombies and a uh, bloodsucker. Okay, now I can take you guys out. Wow, this thing has a ridiculous hit impulse on it. Um. Okay. Anomalous weather. That's a new one. Well, not really. The same thing sort of happened a couple times in Misery. Give me your 545. Thank you, kind sir. And this guy, what do you have on you? I'm picking up all these useless guns that I do not want. Pick that up too. I've been using so many less medkits now that I have that uh, healing artifact. Thing is a lifesaver. Or medkit saver. I don't know if we've been in here on this save yet. I just, I don't know where our progress with the military is so far. I think we're right before the end game. But I could be wrong. I don't know. We'll see. Cross that bridge when we come to it. And I am getting hopelessly lost here. Okay, going over this way. The fog is not helping me out. That's the only reason I had to look at my mini-map, I swear. And I'm gonna save it here too. Do not want to have to load anything back. <laughs> okay, seriously, where are we? <laughs> I am terrible at navigating. Alright, the laundromat is right down here. Would definitely help if I could actually see more than like three feet in front of me. Alright, here we go. It's right over this way, yep. Almost got lost again there. And veered off into that anomaly field there. Okay, shut up, Kowalski, please. Uh, Gary. I don't want to go finish up that quest marker up there with Kowalski because I, I think that might initiate the end game here. And I obviously don't want to do that. So let's go to Jupiter first. Uh, turn in the snork hunting mission, whatever that happens to be, with Trapper, I guess. And then head to Zatan and talk to Leon. Can't even remember who Leon is. It sounds familiar, but... Or maybe I'm not talking to Leon at all. I think Leon might have been the guy that gave us the case. Way, way, way back in, like, episode 2 or 1, maybe even. Okay, seriously, what's seeing me? Apparently nothing. 
Uh, so he might be dead. We might be just getting like secondhand information off of somebody else. Who knows? What's up? Bro? Yeah, apparently the detection meter's glitched, or maybe it isn't. Oh god, is that an Alpha Squad? Please tell me that's not an Alpha Squad. That's not an Alpha Squad. Just a cluster fuck of mutants. Okay, well, uh, either way, I don't really want anything to do with it. So let's go downstairs and talk to Trapper. Just turn in the Snork quest. Uh, the group of Snorks has been destroyed. So we got eight grand. Uh, excellent. Major Freedom Scouts will recheck the area in case any were missed. Okay. Alright, so we can pick up another mission from him anytime, I suppose. Not really interested in finishing all his stuff. I'm gonna hold? talk to Pilot here and go back to the Skidovsk. It's fine, let's go. Jeez, I've been recording for like an hour and ten minutes here. <laughs> Didn't seem like it was recording that long. I might just end this uh, after I talk to this guy on the ship. Since I am, after all, going to be, you know, uploading this as one continuous video. That's going to be one hell of a big file to upload, and I don't have as fast internet here as I did before, so... It might take a bit longer to publish and upload, you know, all that jazz. I don't think publishing has anything to do with your upload speed, though. That just has to do with YouTube's, uh, level of competence in processing your video on that particular day. Okay, so who am I talking to here? Ganta. Uh... No. No, Ganta, I, I don't want to talk to you. Is this guy we want to talk to? Nope, it is not. Take care. Or don't, you know, I really don't care. Okay, second floor, yeah, here we go. It's a doctor we gotta talk to. Okay, can I ask you a question? No problem, ask. Have you ever heard about Water of Life? Maybe yes, maybe no, not. Why should no, I tell you no. that? Information yes. is not free. It costs a lot here in the zone. What can I do for you to get this info? It is commonplace. I need a med kit. I have the coordinates, but there is no one to go. Alright, I'll get the med kit next time, I guess. Uh, where did he give us a marker for? Of course, we gotta go back here. <laughs> The High Command has provided me with a stash with a compensation of funds that I had spent. Okay, apparently that's the stash with the uh, for the uh, liaison guy. And here's the medkit. I'm almost certain there's going to be mercs repopulating the area here, so I'm going to be in for a bit of a fight next time. But, uh, you know, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Again, if there's any problems in the recording that you notice, then uh, for sure let me know. And I will do my best to fix them for next time. Can't guarantee anything for this video, but, uh, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I will see you next time.